Hey guys, welcome back to Sunday School. It's your girl, Gracie Deering, back at it again for another fun video. Welcome back. Hope you guys are having a good Mother's Day. Shout out to all the moms out there. We love you. We appreciate you. Our world would fall to pieces without you. So thank you for everything you moms do for us. We love you so, so much. Let's hop into today's story. So we are still celebrating Easter. I know it feels like so long ago, but Easter season lasts for a couple of weeks. So we are still celebrating Easter. We are still celebrating that Jesus beat death and he was stronger than sadness and judgment and death and he has saved us from our sin. And you know what? I think we can we can take a little extra time to celebrate that because that's kind of the cornerstone or like the big thing in our entire belief is that Jesus did this. So we can kind of celebrate it all year round. It doesn't really need to be just Easter, but it is Easter time, so we are especially celebrating it right now. Um, today's story is about Jesus, and he is revealing himself once again to the disciples. He just keeps kind of popping in and popping out, and they kind of never really know when he's going to show up. So he's showing up again today in a story, and he's going to teach our friends, the disciples, a little something something. So let's do it. This is the season of Easter, the time we celebrate that Jesus is alive. This is Galilee, and this is the Sea of Galilee. When Jesus appeared to his disciples in Jerusalem, he told them to go back home to Galilee. He said that he would visit them again soon. So here they are at home in Galilee. And they waited, and they waited. And one evening, Peter said, I'm going to go fishing. And so all the other disciples were like, we'll come fishing too. And so they all got in their boat. They piled in here. They got in their boat with their fishing net and they went off to sea. All night long they fished, tossing their nets out and pulling them back in and they didn't catch a single fish. Then, just after daybreak, they saw someone on the beach but they couldn't tell who it was. He called to them and said, have you caught any fish? And they answered, no, not even one. Cast your net to the right side of the boat and then you will find some. So they cast their boat all the way out the net and then they pulled it in and it was full of fish. They could barely even get it. And they pulled it in and they had so many fish. And then Peter recognized Jesus on the shore and so we jumped in the water and swam all the way to him and the others brought their boats in and they couldn't wait to talk to Jesus. When the boat touched the shore they saw a fire cooking and there was fish to eat and they cooked the fish that they had caught and they had bread and they had a big feast all together. As they gathered around the fire, no one was asking, who are you anymore? They could see him with their own eyes. They were sharing a meal together like they had so many times before, and they knew that it was Jesus. They knew he was alive, and they believed that Jesus really was the Son of God, the King of God's kingdom. Welcome back from story time. I hope you guys enjoyed today's story. It was kind of similar to what we've heard before. Do you guys know which one it might be? It's kind of similar to when Jesus first calls his disciples. Remember the two that are in the boat and he's like, hey, come, I'll make you fishers of men. It's kind of like that story. Um, and I think it's cool that they have that symbolism where um, they gotta, they were called by Jesus in a boat and they did this whole thing. They go on this whole journey with him. And now it's come full circle and we're back in the boat being called to by Jesus. That's super cool. Question time. Question number one. How do you think the disciples recognized Jesus? Like I just said, the disciples had already been called by Jesus from the boat and when they first were just starting Jesus' ministry with him. And so they've already done this whole thing. And so when, when Jesus called to them from their boat, they were reminded that Jesus had done that. And they were like, oh, it's Jesus. That's what I think. I think they kind of remembered because of what he had done the first time. Question two. What has changed since the first time Jesus called the disciples? 
so much has changed. They've gone on this whole crazy journey with Jesus. They like joined him not really knowing what to expect. And then they went on this whole thing where they were like, he was teaching, they were, he was healing people, doing all these miracles. And then he was being attacked by the priests and then he was killed and then he rose again. And so when they were starting, they didn't really fully know what Jesus was all about. And now they are 100% confident and sure that Jesus is the son of God and he is, who, he is who he says he was. And so they have this full confidence in Jesus and who he is. Thanks for watching today, guys. It was a little bit of a shorter video. I am trying really hard to get some extra videos out. Hopefully they'll be this week, we shall see. I'm really sorry that they're none yet. I'm really working on it. Hopefully this week I'll have some more videos posted for you. Um, there is a couple coloring sheets down below if you wanna check those out. Um, yeah, I love you guys, I miss you. Thanks for popping back in today. I love you guys. See you hopefully soon.